I have to tell you, you know, personally, you know, I get my drive from my dad. You know, I watched him growing up and how hard he worked, how hard he grind. He drove trucks. You know, I used to hear stories from different truck drivers, you know, friends of his that said, you know, he used to pull up, you know, back up and uh, get out and unload a 55 foot trailer by himself, hand, you know, hand unloaded, you know? And so he grind, he worked, he made sure, you know, we had what we needed, you know? And so I looked at him as a winner, you know? So I get in the gym and I work my ass off. I grind, I remember what he did. I remember the sweat, the tears, the hurt, the pain, the everything, and I do the same thing. And you know what? That produced my wins. Grinding the gym produced the wins. I didn't think about winning. Only thing I did was think about grinding and the grinding produced the wins. So you can think about winning all you want. If you don't put the work in, you ain't gonna win shit. Yeah, right? My training style is high volume. I don't really count reps. I just go till I can't go no more. Um, actually, that inspired me from you guys, you and uh, Branch training. And cool, man. Ever since then, I've been training that way, and it helped me build my physique that I have now. Yeah, yeah. You know, people always have their critiques on and be like, of course. you're gonna hurt yourself, this of and course. that, but of course. if your body's changing and it's responding, why the fuck you need to change exactly. it? So, exactly. Exactly. And, and I, I said, like, in the beginning, of course, it was the same thing for me. Everybody's this, that, and the other. And then I just put it as as long as I got my, your, your, as long as you got my name in your mouth, I must be doing something significant. Yeah, hundred percent. So it don't matter to me, you yeah. know. And you just do what you just do you. Yeah. That's all. That's one thing you never get away from, and never forget because uh, it's easy to look around and see this guy and that guy and you know this one before you and that one before you and For get sure. caught up in like oh my god yeah you know and you got to do that shit at home, you know and get busy. I remember my pro debut was uh the gnc show of strength the very first one okay and so i thought like i was i'm thinking man everybody going to olympia the year gonna be over ain't nobody gonna show up it's a hundred thousand dollars gonna make me some money right man i get to that motherfucker it was the olympia lineup and me everybody that was at the olympia and me and i was standing backstage i'm looking at king kamali then there's lee priest there's ronnie there's gunter there's jay I'm like, I'm looking, I was like, oh, sh then I stopped. I, I had to catch myself. I was like, yo, man, stop. You here to work. Right. You know, if you don't, if you don't get your shit together, they gonna take your paycheck. Right. So stop the fanboy shit and let's go. So then you just, you gotta mix it out and do you, yeah. you know? And before you know it, if you think that way, before you know it, they'll start talk, talking about you. Even the ones that you look up to will be looking at you and talking about you. You know, if you, you be true to you. Stop holding it back. I can be 180 for the rest of my fucking life and just look the same, or I can be, you know, 220, 230, you know, fill out my frame, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's not bodybuilding if you're holding yourself back. Right. So that's, 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 I think I was trying to be small. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell no. No. Y'all just had bodybuilding to grow, you know? Yeah. But it's still the same thing. You don't pick up, you don't start going to the gym, you don't pick up your first dumbbell just to say the same. Yeah. 
you know, you progress through it all. So, yeah, you outgrew it, you know, and once you do, you got to recognize and keep going. If not, you hold yourself back. And you don't, yeah, you just try, you just spin your wheels from there. I'm just yep. glad that I did it young versus, you know, later. Yeah. So, so what's on the horizon? Uh, as far as like with next step, yeah, yeah. Uh, Boston Pro got canceled, so um, I'm gonna do yeah. Chicago Pro in two okay. weeks. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna shoot for that for the 212 Pro debut. Cool. I'm going. That's, we're going there too. Yeah. So, cool. yeah, yeah. We'll see each other. Kill it. That'd and be cool. Get that qualification. That's the last qualification for the year. Yeah. Which is insane because only you only had one 212 show this year. I was tapping pro. Through, uh, do a little back training here up at Destination Dallas. Uh, this is the new destination, Destination 2.0, man, which I think is a huge improvement from the previous destination. They got the warehouse, you know, gas better bodies office, as well as a much bigger, new and improved gym. So, uh, great atmosphere here. Today, we've got uh, a lot of people in the house, a lot of guests in the house. You know, we've got a lot of pros, men and men and women in here training. But, uh, you know, even at that, even at that level, um, I made a comment during the training, man. I was like, shit, there ain't nobody here. Those people sweating was me and Johnny. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I think I said something. That's right. So, uh, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. You know, we both got 30 plus years of training under our belts and each one of us. And, um, you know, I don't compete no more. And I still train hard. You know why? Because I love this shit. There ain't nothing else I'd rather do. You know, so uh, to me, you know, I tell these young athletes in here, you know, um, I know when I was in that, their shoes, I was so focused and trained so hard that uh, nothing would stop me. So, uh, you know, there's still some guys that still want it. They're still hungry and they get after it. But I think a lot of this generation, they're too damn worried about the Instagram mm -hmm. and not worried about taking care of the business and how they look on the stage. Man, you nailed it. You hit the nails straight on the head, you know? It's uh, definitely a little bit disappointing, even though, you know, we don't we don't accept any distractions when it's time for us to get it on just get it on but you know when you're in you know an area like this and you got so many people you know around you that close you know you can't help but to kind of see you know and um yeah for sure it's a little bit disappointing to see you know some people kind of you know standing around you know looking at himself in the camera you know trying to be pretty and shit like that you know where you know where we came from it was grind that's what we why we do what we do because where we came from, you know? And so some, you know, some of these people, uh, as some of these athletes, you need to, you know, check the history, you know, go back, check the history, and so they can respect the business. So then respecting the business, you'll work like we do. Yeah.
To, to, to win and to be a champion, and this applies to anything, you gotta, you gotta love it, and you gotta want to win, right? So if you don't have the passion for it, and you don't have that drive, and that unwavering, laser sharp focus to win, you ain't gonna get anywhere, man. That's something you gotta have, man. I mean, when I was competing, man, the first thing I thought about when I woke up was winning. I thought about it all day. I thought about it. The only thing I thought about training was winning. You know, when I was doing a set, and it got to the point where, you know, you just can't fucking do another rep. You don't think. And then I would think to myself, am I gonna let somebody fucking beat me because they did do another rep? So I do fucking two or three more reps. And um, and that's what I was thinking about. After I got through training, I was thinking about it. I would go home and take a shower after I trained every day. And you know what I would do? I'd practice my victory speech in the shower every day while I was training for whatever contest I was getting ready for. You know, and um, because that, that's, I'm a big believer. If you believe it here, you can make it happen. Because if you don't believe it in here, nobody else is gonna believe it and you ain't gonna make it happen. So you gotta have that unwavering drive and that, that passion for it. And you ain't gonna get nothing done in life. You can take that and apply it to business, you can apply it to your personal life, whatever. But if you can apply that, that same drive and passion and determination, you'll be successful in life, period. Come on now! Yeah! That's what we do! Come on, pull!